I'm here with Lou Squayo, the Director of Marketing and Communications for Direct Grid Technologies. Nice to meet you today. Same here. Thank you very much. Can you tell me a little bit about your product? Uh, what we have is a utility-grade microinverter that offers a power density that is unequaled in, in the mm -hmm. industry currently uh, at 480 watts mm -hmm. and even upwards to 530 watts. Uh, it mates with two 60-cell mm -hmm. modules uh, and uh, offers a unique architecture that permits the unit to uh, be exposed in extreme conditions mm -hmm. and uh, offer a high degree of reliability, which has historically been uh, a concern in the industry. For all inverters or? Uh, I would say more so mm -hmm. for uh, microinverters or inverters mm -hmm. where you, you have a, uh, a significant distribution when you have a lot of a lot of them. So uh, that's certainly a concern of many customers. Mm -hmm. So we've, we've really built something that is robust. Uh, it has seven patents pending and is wasn't designed from a application note. It's really designed from a blank sheet of paper. From the ground up. Can you differentiate between an inverter, a mini inverter? What's the difference? What applications would use one versus the other? Well, a, uh, a, a central inverter, which is what everybody mm -hmm. uh, typically thinks of, is one inverter that serves all the panels. Mm -hmm. Then you have variations of that in between, with the minimum being the microinverter. So you have string inverters mm -hmm. uh, or multiple central inverters that will serve a series of uh, panels or arrays, mm -hmm. strings per, per se. And then on a microinverter, uh, you have down to the, the least common denominator where it's one to one. Uh, with our solution, one per panel. right. Exactly, one per, uh, per module. Uh, with our microinverter, uh, we've got the power density uh, condensed in a small mm -hmm. package where we can put two modules with one microinverter. Okay. So you're reducing the number of units you need to install uh, and you're, you're not giving up really any, any significant harvesting uh, as a result of that. So that it's, a real, it's, a, it's a winning pair that, and thus our, our, uh, our slogan. So why is that a better solution than using one inverter for the whole array? Uh, well, it's a more distributed architecture. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want to isolate a problem in the traditional oh, yes. sense, yes. a, a, a contract would have to go around with a meter to check each module before it was able to identify mm -hmm where the problem was. So can you show us a sample of the equipment, what this actually looks like? Uh, this is the microinverter. Okay. And it's the Gemini series. This is what we're promoting. And then this is the communications device. One of these devices is inside each microinverter. It's an option. They can get it without the communications or with. Uh, but with this mounted on the motherboard, it would talk to the Ilon server that collects all the harvested mm -hmm. data, it collects the, uh, the core temperature of each microinverter, as well as its unique ID or neuron ID. That information is then ported through the internet where it goes to our remote server where a customer can log in and monitor their system continuously. And if per se there is a module event, uh, an email can be sent out to the contractor so then they can uh, take action. Now, again, the, the beauty of the microinverters, because it's so distributed, is that if one panel or one microinverter goes down, it's not going to significantly affect right. harvesting, so maintenance is performed uh, at a convenience as opposed to on demand. You decrease labor costs, you decrease the cost of replacing an inverter, and you also increase uptime if there is a problem. That is correct. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.